So we created our first model and this one, we're going to change this model. That is, we're going to add to it because we probably want more data. So we're going to talk about that. Now, before we can jump in to actually make the changes, I want to talk about the fields in particular. So if we take a look at the documentation, what we see here is inside of models, fields and field types. It doesn't really matter what version of Django you're using here. So you can even go to dev. Um, or you can also search Django model fields and that will bring up the model field reference documentation. And then if you scroll down to field types, this is where all of them are. Now auto field, what is auto field? So I think I mentioned before that we have these IDs already inside of every model. So if we click on them, we see there's an ID there. That is an auto field. There's a good chance you're not going to use this field directly as it says in the documentation. So it's already there and it's already automatically creating integers known as the IDs for each and every model instance. This is something that's really good about inheriting from the model class. That's part of the reason why you do that. But we have all these other fields. We have big integer field, binary field if you use binary, uh, a Boolean field, like a true false value, char field, we've already done that one. Um, but you can scroll down and see all of the various kinds of fields. We will use more of these fields in the future. Um, but in this one, what I wanna do is actually use another char field and I'm gonna call this short code and I'll do models.char field. And now you might be wondering, okay, I put this max length here before. Well, the max length is actually a required item for the char field. If it's listed there, that means it's required. In fact, it will tell you that the char field has one extra required argument and that is max length. And if you don't put max length, it will raise an error. So you can actually go through and see some of the other ones as far as required is concerned, right? So in the email field, it does have a max length there so you can change the max length, but it doesn't say anything about it being required. Um, and then file field has optional arguments. You know, if you go through, you can see the things that are required and the things that are optional. The things that are required are usually gonna to be told to you that they're required when you run the next few codes. All right, so we have this short code in here. This is gonna be related directly to every URL. Remember, we're doing this redirect thing. So we're gonna have a short code in here that's related directly to that URL. Um, something that you have to note here is if we save this, we can now actually add this into the database. But the important part is it's not already in the database, right? So the shortcode field, that is not in the database, but the cur URL is in the database. So what we're doing here is actually making changes to how the database is mapped. That is, we're, we're just changing it to fit with this model itself. Think about it if you were like using Microsoft Excel or Apple Numbers, when you make a new column, you create that whole new column. Now, in this case, we are gonna be creating a whole new column, but the database needs to know that that column exists and it needs some values for those previous columns, right? Or we need to know that it can be empty. So right here, let's look at this right here. So we have a value for our two, oops, let's, Let's, um, oh, I wanna comment this out for a second because I did save it, but we have these two values here, right? So if I click on them, there is a value and there's actually something in there. Now, if I added a new field, the database needs to know what those new values are gonna be, right? So if I added a new field as a line, I need to set the previous fields values, right? Or the previous instances values, the previous objects. Now there's a few options that I can have, but let's go ahead and just put it in here blank, just as if I didn't do anything. I just saved it as this and I went through without actually setting the things that I need to set. Now I have two terminal windows open. One is actually running the server. Another one is just inside of the actual virtual environment. And if I list everything out, I see that I'm in the root of my project. That is of course where manage.py is. Now, if I write out python manage.py and make migrations, this is the command that you wanna run every time you save models. We've already said this. Every time you do anything to models, you wanna run make migrations. I press enter and it gives me this system check error. This is that error that I was saying. Char fields must define a max length. 
right? I did that before by default, but in this case, I'm gonna do max length. And let's think about how long we want our short code to be. Let's say for instance, we want it to be 15. That's the max length that we want it to be. I'll go ahead and save that. And that's all characters, so 15 characters long. Um, that's the absolute max that I'll ever do on that short code. I might be able to, I can change it in the future, but right now let's just say that's what it will always be. I go ahead and do make migrations. Now I get this error saying, you're trying to add a non-nullable field to short code. In other words, the field has to have some data in it the way we wrote it here. So I have to define something. This is basically saying, pick a default now for all the other existing values. Remember, these are existing values here and I'm adding a new field to them so I need to give them some sort of existing value. It's kind of like if I was super powerful and I could give every person in the world or every new person in the world, so every baby that has yet to be born, I could give them another arm, right? So now from here on out, every baby in the world has another arm. I can just give it to them. I've now decided everyone's got that. Well, what do I do for everybody else? Do I, everyone that's already alive, do I give them another arm or do I not give them another arm? That is kind of what's going on here. And we can, we can decide whether or not we want to give that extra value or put something in that value for this particular item. Now there's a few ways around this. Now I'm going to just go ahead and write these ways below here and I'm not going to actually leave them. So I'll keep them commented out. One of the ways we can solve this issue is we can say null equals to true. That means that it can be empty in the database. By default, it's null, here's the defaults, null equals to false and blank equals to false. I'll explain blank in a second, but we've got null equals to true. That means empty in database is okay. Another one we could do is default value and this is gonna be the value that whatever we end up doing for the short code, all of the other ones would have a default value. So in our case, we could say CFE default short code. Now, I don't actually want to have a default value, right? And I also don't want it to be null in the database. I want to make sure that this is a required thing. Like, so when I have it in there, it's absolutely 100% required. That is something that I really, really definitely 100% want to do. So, but I've, I've run into a little bit of an issue because I'm adding the short code field after values already exist. So that's something we will solve. But for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this as is just like that. Of course, going back to this, you could use either one of these or you can use them in conjunction with each other. Default and null could be in there. That's okay. So let's actually go back and see what the options are. So we can provide a one-off default, meaning all of the old rows will have this value. And now all the new rows, all everything going forward will not have that value. Otherwise I can quit and set a default or set null being true in the database or excuse me, in the models.py. So I could do two and then come in here and use one of these fields, save that and go back. But I'm gonna do one and what I'm gonna write is this CFE default value. And the CFL default shortcode, this I wanna use it as a string because remember it's a char field, so a character field. If that was an integer field, I could use integer field. If it was a, a timestamp or, time, or a date time field, I could use time zone because that uh, module is available. But I'm gonna use CFE default shortcode. I'll press enter and that is now what it is. So it created a new file for, called migrations. So if we jump into our source file here and we look into our app inside of migrations, we now see that we have this cur URL shortcode. Here it is. This is the actual migration that was created. This is now showing the database what's happening, right? So when we want to migrate, it's going to apply each one of these migrations if they have not been applied already. So I'll go ahead and save it. And then now what I'll run is Python manage.py migrate and I'll press enter and notice it's applying that migration. And if I try to migrate again, it's not gonna apply that migration because that migration has already applied. Migration meaning it's gonna change the database now. We set up the database migration change or we said, hey, hey database, we're gonna change you to this soon. 
That's what this migration file is for. Notice it was automatically generated for us based off of what we did in models and after running these commands, then it went off of what's in there. So here's the, the previous default and notice how it says preserve default false it means that it's not gonna keep that default. So every value going forward is not gonna be that. So if I refresh inside or make sure my server is running and I go into the admin, I now that see that I can see my default short code in here. Well, this is great, but I also want another aspect of this short code. And that is I want unique, unique being true. So unique being meaning that I want all short code values to be unique to this model. So nowhere on there should these short codes be the same ever. I also might want that same thing with URLs, but definitely with short codes, right? I don't want duplicate short codes. Duplicate URLs is not as big of a deal as duplicate short codes. So since I added that unique clause, I'm gonna just change one of these that isn't unique simply by, and if I try and type in here, mm, I can't type. I can still type up here, but I can't actually add anything. If I hit save and continue, boom, I already got an error. <laughs> this is cool. So it didn't run the error for the default, but it's, remember we had our max length at 15 and this is more than 15 characters. This is, this is okay because we're gonna add that unique equals to true. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete this and say CFE one, two, three, and I'll just hit save. And then I'll go to the other one and do CFE one, two, three, four, and hit save. So now both of these are unique, right? Each short code is unique. Okay, great. So we'll save models.py and then we'll do it again. We'll run our migrations. So we'll make, oops, we wanna do Python. Notice that I said migrate and it's saying, hey, you models have changes that are not reflected in a migration. I'm glad that we saw this because now it's basically saying you have to run make migrations. So Python, we can actually press up a couple times, press migrations and again, and made that field for us. It's altering the field this time by adding unique equals to true. That's all that's happening here. Notice it says alter field versus add field. Just really kind of explaining what's going on with the migrations. And now we can run Python manage.py migrate. We press enter, those migrations happen. I refresh in here. Um, now, if I try to do CFE one, two, three, like the other one, hit save and continue, it will give me this error. That's really cool. Okay, great. So. We're gonna leave it at this. And in the next one, what we're gonna talk about is what happens if your migrations just get out of whack? What do you do? If you have any questions on this, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.